My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I've got something real cool to share with you today. We got a gorgeous 34 Ford. What's different about this one? It's a real 34 Ford. This is a steel body car. I have pictures of it back in the 50s as a hot rod. We have photo album of the complete restoration, of course, body off frame. Uh, I actually sold this car a couple years ago. And the gentleman I sold it to, we only put about 800 miles on it. And this is a whole list of everything he did. It's all just tinkering, tidying things up. Uh, so we brought it back a better car than it was. Uh, it was just time to get something new. Actually, he bought a 2023 Corvette. That's what he traded this in on. So it's very cool. Comes with a book of documentation, photos, vintage photos. Some of these are posted on our website, too. You can also go to our website to find the price tag along with the monthly finance option on this car and every car we have for sale, along with the description and photos. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Yeah, so the body was off the frame, and again, it's all documented in there. It's the genuine 1934 Ford frame. The VIN number on the frame still matches the title to this day. So they took the frame, they did box it, smoothed it out, painted it all red, and it's still very fresh. It's all clean, it's not rusty or nicked or scratched up. So beautiful red chassis. Uh, up front, it's a straight axle, or a drop axle, I should say. It's not independent, but it's a drop axle, the transverse spring, it has the four-link uh, trailing arms, all tubular stuff. In back, it has a four-link suspension with tubular control arms and coilover shocks. Uh, it's got a really nice sounding dual exhaust. I think they're Flowmaster mufflers. Uh, you can hear it uh, towards the end of this video. Uh, we got disc brakes in front, drum and back. All the brake lines, hoses, all that, of course, was replaced. And it was all installed neatly. Uh, it even has an emergency brake cable system hooked up. It has a composite. Uh, fancy word for plastic fuel tank under there and the floors are all clean metal painted black uh, so yeah underneath real nice you can tell it's got a nice stance you know lowered perfect hot rod stance now the body itself uh, all metal roof i think originally these would have like a vinyl insert in the middle but that's all metal it's been chopped it's what they call a five window you don't count the windshield it's got five windows uh, the body is excellent. They filled in the cowl, that vent that you soap open, so it's nice and smooth. You got a nice metal hood. The fenders are fiberglass. Can't tell by looking at them. They're absolutely straight. They're not wavy. Uh, they're pristine. Excellent fenders. No damage. <clears throat> got a louvered uh, custom side panels to the hood. You might notice it all fits real nicely. Suicide doors, they hid the hinges on an original. The hinges would be exposed, but they're hidden in the door jam. Uh, you open the doors with the remote. You got some nice chrome mirrors. Uh, no rust, no issues, no, no bad body work. Nothing is showing through. Uh, no cracks that I'm finding. All of this is really nice. Trunk lid fits precisely. You got a third brake light uh, put right into the body. Uh, this is a fiberglass panel, recessed license plate. Here's where you put fuel in the car. They deleted the bumpers. Yeah, the body's excellent. The paint looks like red glass. I have driven this car. It really runs and drives nice. It doesn't feel like an old lunky hot rod. A little bit of grease right there. I'm trying to get off. It actually drives very comfortably. You feel secure and safe uh, when you're driving the car. Got these really cool, I think these are like salt flat wheels, they call them. Uh, the gray with the polished uh, rim and the, the spinners. BF Goodrich tires, obviously fatter and much wider in the back. Uh, H4 headlights. I can see an electric cooling fan in the grill. The running boards are covered in rubber. 
So you can stand on them. When you see them painted red, it doesn't take long before they're scratched up from people stepping on them. In back, it has the teardrop tail lights. All new smoked glass, power windows. So why don't we open it up, show you what's inside. There's a nice little chrome button on the dash. It's the power trunk release. There's also a manual release in case the battery's dead, because this is where your battery's located in the trunk here. You can see it's all boxed and upholstered, painted neatly. Just a very, very meticulous, tidy build. The paint is slick. I would assume it's ceramic coated. It Just touch it and it's as slick as can be. I didn't really find any flaws in the body or paint. Uh, probably are somewhere, but it is exceptional. So, they're suicide doors. They open up, you know, backwards. That's the way they were. Got all custom dash here. AC vents built right in. A nice billet bezel with the VDO gauges. A total of 4,846 miles since it's been built. Uh, the last guy put 800 miles. The dash was extended to cover the air conditioning unit. You got the vintage air controls. You got power window switches and vents. Yeah, nice leather wrapped steering wheel on a tilt column. The entire inside of the cab is lined with sound deadener. Uh, you have a low car e-brake handle on the floor. This here is actually a floor mat over the carpet. Uh, you got pockets on the uh, kick panels. This is a T seat, T-E-A, a very nice comfortable seat. You actually have quite a bit of room behind the seat here if you're going away overnight and you want to throw it. Some bags behind there, there's room. All the upholstery, the whole inside is upholstered. It's all done very nicely. You got seat belts here, retractable belts. Uh, meticulous, just like the outside. The engine is a 350, 300 horsepower. Runs smooth as can be. Aluminum intake, big holly carb. Uh, flamethrower distributor. You can see it's all polished parts. Polished alternator, AC compressor, brackets, pulleys, a matched set of air cleaner, breather, and valve covers. Plug wires are run neatly. It's got a nice uh, billet dipstick. You got coated headers. Uh, walker radiator with a fan, an electric fan in front, polished overflow bottle. Look how everything is painted nice and smooth and pretty. To, afraid to slam it. Uh, there's no wires going through the door jam to the power windows. They're contact points, so you don't have to worry about the wire <coughs> breaking. If you got a minute, we'll look through this photo album together, see if there's uh, any other interesting bits of information I can give you. We'll latch that when I'm done here. Uh, but pretty much the first page, like I said, is the work that he's done. Uh, re repaired a transmission leak, uh, new speedo housing, uh, intake on valve cover gaskets, flushed the radiator, uh, greased uh, the suspension, a window regulator, flywheel cover, uh, all sorts of miscellaneous like that. Added a passenger mirror, new wiper blade, oil change. The motor's a 350, uh, 300 horsepower. Has all the compression, the firing order, the stroke, uh, jet coated headers, um, low car stainless steel trans and dips, uh, engine and uh, trans dipsticks, all sorts of stuff here. It's got all the all the specs. Uh, it says he doesn't 
like using KNL and filters. He put a suggestion of what filters should be used, uh, how to operate the car, where the buttons and controls are, air filter numbers. Uh, it's all here. And then you got uh, more information. That's from the previous owner. Then you got pictures and specs. It's a Ron Francis wiring system with the push in fuses. And then the last portion of the book are the photos, which I find very interesting. Uh, you can catch a glimpse of what that looks like. It's an old hot rod back in the 50s. So there you have it. This is a high quality steel body 34 Ford. Go to volocars.com. The salesman can help answer whatever questions you still have. They can help get it delivered to your door. They can help you finance it at volocars.com. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.